David, a lot of people digging out tonight, uh, and looks like this is only round one. This is round one. <laughs> yep, we have another system for Thursday, and then we're watching a more important storm on Friday. Models are a little bit uh, over, a little bit over the, all over the place with that one. So we'll. Yeah. Start with this one. So here's, right. here's what we saw out there today. I showed you this at the top of the hour, but we'll just mention it again in case you missed us. Farmington about nine inches of snow, Cumberland 8.6, uh, 5.7, about close to six inches in Portland, and then over by Acadia, three inches of snow. So there's a couple of areas out there uh, down east, uh, pretty much seeing anywhere between one to three inches. But, you know, even over in Bangor, we saw 2.1 inches unofficially so far. We'll have to wait till the snow falls and see exactly what you get overnight tonight. So temperatures, though, 17 in Caribou, 18 in Holton, Callis at 21, Bar Harbor, 28 degrees down in Rockland. You're just above freezing, but you'll be dropping below freezing shortly. Augusta at 23 in Portland at 28 degrees. And as we head down towards southern New York County in the upper 20s to about freezing. So we're watching cold area kind of sifting slowly towards the south. 25 degrees in Freiburg. The wind is kind of out of the east northeast. It's a little bit all over the place right now, but this wind is negligible anyway between 5 to 10 miles, miles per hour. Really not too big pig of a deal. We have high pressure to the south. We have a trough of low pressure moving through the area right now, some upper level energy, and that's what's enhancing the snow. But everything's going to start to break up in nature over the next couple of hours. We'll zoom in just a little bit closer. So down towards southern portions of the state, just a little patchy fog going on out there. Maybe some drizzle or snizzle, depending on uh, if it's frozen. Portland, a little bit of light snow out there. Out towards Sebago, Bridgeton, you're seeing a little bit of moderate snow. Conway, I think you're pretty much done with it. But as you head towards the east, Bath over towards Rockland, still seeing some light to moderate bursts. And we'll continue to see that overnight. But take a look at Bangor. You're starting to see things break up in nature. And over towards western portions of the state, too. In Rumford, some moderate snowfall. And even down east, some light to moderate snowfall as well. And even Presque Isle, some light snow showers. And this is going to pretty much be the rule overnight as things start to break up as low pressure pulls away from us. Right now, the storm that's actually responsible for this is probably about three or 400 miles offshore, but we have some upper level energy that's enhancing it. So overnight tonight, again, watch the temperatures, teens to the north, 20s to the south, and things start to break up. But by tomorrow morning, still dealing with some light snowfall, Machias up to Callis and even over to Eastport, but that's out of here by about 11, 12 o'clock. Seeing some sun breaking out tomorrow, that'll help melt some of that snow that fell. Upper 30s for temperatures to near 40 along the coastline, low to mid 30s inland, and then we'll watch more clouds moving in by 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Even some snow showers across southwestern portions of New Hampshire, and they'll start to break up a little bit. But watch what happens by 7 a.m. on Thursday. Starting to see some snow, especially across the higher elevations inland along the coastline. I think we're going to be just mild enough to see some rain, perhaps some mixed snow as you get down towards the mid coast and up into down eastern areas. But by the evening, We'll start to see everything shifting towards the east, and it's out of here by Thursday night, and we're just left with some clearing skies. As far as snowfall for the rest of the night, could see anywhere between an inch, maybe two inches as you head up towards Bangor, Caribou, even down east where we're going to be watching that snow ending late tonight. Portland, I think we're pretty much done with it, maybe a coating, quick coating. But I'm going to add a couple of more inches of snow to this as we go through Thursday. This is the potential we could add a couple more inches, especially across the foothills in higher elevations inland. So by Thursday night, adding a couple of inches there and that's that with the next storm system, but pretty much nothing as you get down towards the coast. We are watching that we that storm on Thursday. That's going to exit Thursday night and then we'll head towards the southwest and watch this system developing. That's going to eject south of New England. The exact track is yet to be determined. I just saw one of the computer models that came in pushing it a little bit further south means a little bit more colder air will be involved. But you know something? We're going to watch it closely. I think we'll have a better lock on things tomorrow once we see things uh, resetting the, the atmosphere as the system that's with us today exits. Then we'll see how things start to transpire tomorrow morning. So definitely want to check back with us tomorrow. See six to nine feet tomorrow, northwest 
winds uh, out of the northwest at 10 to 20 knots. And then we do have a small craft advisory that goes right through tomorrow afternoon. So mariners beware out there. And here's your seven day forecast. And you know what? We're going to be watching this closely. I think Thursday we might see a couple of inches across the higher elevation. So some good news for the skiers and snowmobilers who have been waiting patiently pretty much the whole <laughs> month. And then by the weekend, that Friday storm, the exact track, I'm seeing some hints that the models are pushing it a little bit further south. So I think much of the state may be spared from this. But again, we're going to keep a very, very watchful eye on it. There is still time. Lots of time. <laughs> All right. Thanks, David. <laughs> Thank you.